In tonight's headlines, home prices drop to a seven-year low, but rents continue to rise. Three men are arrested in connection with the death of a university student who was allegedly injected with drugs. And a man accused of sneaking into a girl's school is granted bail of $200,000. The government has slashed stamp duties for residential property, but the measures seem to have had little effect on reviving the real estate sector as home prices continued to fall. The city's private home index fell by almost 2 percent last month to stand at 316. It was the seventh month in a row that the index has retreated, slipping to its lowest level since February 2017. Flats of between 70 and 100 square meters cost 2.04 percent less last month. Prices for small and medium-sized apartments less than 100 square meters dropped by almost 2 percent, just a little higher than units measuring at least 100 square meters. There wasn't any good news for those who rent their homes in one of the world's least affordable housing markets. The index for rents headed north for the 10th straight month to reach 186.8 in November. Flats ranging from 70 to 100 square meters were most popular, and their rents saw the biggest increase, rising 1.4 percent last month. Janice Low, Cable News. Three men have been charged with manslaughter, drug trafficking and the illegal disposal of a body. The case came to light last Saturday morning when a drainage worker found the body of a 22-year-old master student on Jockey Club Road in Shangshou. The victim was identified as a mainlander surnamed Ho. Police believe he had attended a drugs party with five other men whom he met through an online dating app. Officers suspect that during the gathering in a fanning flat, Ho was injected with drugs and fell into a coma. His body was found about 20 meters from the apartment. Superintendent Chong Chi Kang said two men in the flat were arrested for manslaughter and the illegal disposal of a corpse. One of them was also charged with drug trafficking. Officers said drugs were found in the flat. A third man was arrested in Shengshou and accused of interfering with the disposal of a body. They will appear in Fanling Magistrate tomorrow. Police are searching for two other men. An autopsy will be held to determine the cause of the student's death. Janice Yu, Cable News. A 30-year-old man accused of sneaking into the all-girls Good Hope School in October was granted bail of $200,000 when he appeared in Kowloon City Magistracy today. Chen Chen Hong, a City Bus Senior Operations Officer, is alleged to have entered the secondary school's toilet and taken photos of two girls. Chen, who was charged with voyeurism, was found to own 16 girls' school uniforms. He was ordered to report to police daily and stay away from the Good Hope School in Aotau Kok. His case was adjourned to February. It's not been much of a Merry Christmas for a pharmacy in Aberdeen. An employee was preparing to open the store on Aberdeen Main Road at 8 a.m when he realized the combination lock on the roller gate was missing. On entering, he found medicines scattered on the floor. The owner reported that holiday takings amounting to $1.3 million and $5,000 worth of medical products were stolen. Police are investigating the burglary. A 67-year-old woman has died after falling and hitting her head on a pavement while hiking in Yunlong. She slipped on the stairs of Sweet Gum Woods in Taitong and became unconscious. The woman was rushed to Pok Oi Hospital, where she was certified dead.
The victim and her friends went hiking to see leaves turning red on sweet gum trees in the Thailand Country Park. Many people venture to the country park at this time of the year to admire the scene. It's been disclosed that about 2.1 million people spend their Christmas holiday outside Hong Kong. The first Christmas since the return to normality after the pandemic coincided with a four-day-long weekend. Over 603,000 people decided to make the most of their vacation and only returned yesterday, Boxing Day, to be in time for work today. Most of those who crossed the border, accounting for 88 percent, opted for the Lawwood control point. During the holiday, Hong Kong rolled out the red carpet to welcome 560,000 mainland and overseas visitors. Israel's persistent bombing of Gaza has killed at least 240 Palestinians in the past 24 hours, pushing the death toll since October to 21,000. Israel warned that its offensive against Hamas will take many more months. The United Nations and relief organizations are concerned about the rising casualties, as well as the lack of food, water and medical services for more than 2 million displaced Palestinians. We've seen children, women, young men, old men and women, um, people bleeding out. There's blood everywhere in these hospitals at the moment. We're seeing almost only trauma cases come through the door and at a scale that's quite difficult to believe. Um, it, it's, it's a bloodbath, as we, as we said before, it's carnage. funeral has been held in the Iraqi capital Baghdad for a member of the security forces who was killed in a U.S. airstrike. The Iraqi government condemned its ally, the United States, for carrying out what it called a hostile act. Washington attacked three sites belonging to a pro-Iran group, killing one person and wounding 18 others, including civilians. The raid came after a drone strike on a U.S. airbase in Iraq injured three American military personnel. Police in Seoul were alerted when a popular actor was found unconscious in a car in the South Korean capital. Emergency officers later confirmed that Lee Son Kyung had died in an apparent suicide. The 48-year-old actor was best known for his role in the film Parasite, the first non-English language film to win the Best Picture Oscar. Lee's death came as police were investigating him for alleged drug use. There is widespread grief in the central Nigerian state of Plateau. At least 140 people were killed when suspected nomadic herdsmen went on the rampage in a dozen villages. The violence erupted over Christmas amid growing tensions between farmers and herders who are seeking fresh pastures for their livestock in a region where drought has taken a heavy toll on arable land. We will not rest until we bring all those culpable for this that has been acts to book. Clearance operations in conjunction with other security agencies would commence immediately. Industrial profits in China last month surged 29.5% from a year earlier. The sharp rise was attributed to the launch of stimulus measures, a low base last year, and handsome returns from investments. But industrial earnings for the first 11 months fell 4.4 percent from 2022, although the performance was better than a 7.8 percent decline for January to October. Analysts expect next year to be better and are confident that China can meet its growth target of around 5% for 2023.